Hello and welcome to tutorial number 22 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.NET programming tutorials and today is going to be the second operators tutorial and we're going to learn about logical operators which are also used in if statements so go ahead and create a new project and call it logical operators so there's, there's more than two logical operators but we're just going to cover two until you understand the concept and then you can just google others if you want to learn about the other ones like XOR or whatever other ones there are so go ahead and create two text boxes and the button and we're going to create a, a double passworded form with the first logical operator that we're going to learn so chain add two text boxes and then change the text of button one to login okay and then we'll just have a label please enter both passwords and then we'll also create another form so there's a tutorial on how to do this if you don't understand what I'm doing right now go and watch that tutorial so add another form open the design view of that form and just type passwords accepted okay so now we've got the out of the way you're going to double click the login button and now we can start learning about logical operators so when you usually write if statement you would write something like if textbox1.text equals the password then form2.show so that will be a normal if statement that we learned last time but now we're going to learn about the first logical operator which is the and so Right now, if we, if we want to check if two conditions are true to execute our code, we'd simply type if textbox1.txt equals the password and textbox2.txt equals the second password, then and it's going to show form2. Okay, so what this is saying is if textbox1 is equal to the password and textbox2 is equal to the second password, then it's going to show form2 so this means we have to enter the correct password in both of these fields to be able to see this form so let's go ahead and play this okay so in the first form we'll type the password and nothing will happen but if we type the second password in the second second text box then form 2 shows that's just the first logical operator and the second one is going to be the logical operator or now for this we're just going to use yeah we're going to just do a check to check if both text box are filled so we'll click on login up here we'll we'll say if text box one dot text equals and then two bracket I mean sorry two quotes and then or text box two dot text equals null then message box dot show you didn't fill in the field alright so what this is going to do is it's going to say okay if textbox one dot text has no value or textbox two dot text has no value then it's going to show this so it's going to check both text boxes to check if there's any value in them okay so let's say we just put not on we didn't fill any fields, so we put something in here. We didn't fill any fields because there's nothing in here. And if we press this, nothing will happen because we haven't typed the passwords right. But let's say we type the password, and this is the and one, and then we type nothing here. It's going to say you didn't fill in the fields. And then if we type the second password, and it's going to show the second form. So, sorry, as I explained in a previous tutorial, right now I'm a bit tired and I'm going to start doing the, my other tutorials tomorrow but I just wanted to get the operators out of the way so now hopefully you understand conditional and logical operators
because they're very you really need to know them in phoebe.net programming so thanks for watching and if you need to know any about any other logical operators then just google for vb.net logical operators thanks